What is going on guys? In an unexpected Wednesday release, Apple finally did drop all their new betas, or in this case, release candidates for their main software platforms. And that does obviously include Watch OS 26.2 RC. Now, if you've been following along with these updates, you would know they have been nothing special at all, unfortunately, but needless to say, it's here and hopefully, if nothing else, this will improve on battery life. If you follow the channel, like I said, battery life has been the one major thing we've been knocking and it has been pretty horrendous, steadily improving through the betas, but it definitely has not been great. As you can see though, right here, Watch OS 26.2 RC does have a full build number of 23S, oh, excuse me, I couldn't even see for a second, 23S303. That was kind of confusing to look at. But anyways, needless to say, it's here, and the only real change that it even brings is an update to sleep scores. So aside from that, this beta or release candidate did come in just under 500 megabytes, which you would pretty much anticipate, but sleep score updates and score changes is really all that's new here. As far as how everything runs, as you can see, it's actually pretty smooth. We did have a slight glitch there for a second, but everything seems to be running as you would anticipate, jumping into weather, and you can see it is loading just as good as it has been. I mean, watchOS has been what it is now for a little while. I was hoping there would have been some slight change or updates in the settings for specific actions here, but unfortunately, it's still not the case. As you can see here, unsurprisingly, in RCs, we don't get a lot of changes, and there's nothing new to gestures, nothing new to double tap. Everything is exactly how it has been for a couple of generations now. And as you can see here, still unsurprisingly, no update for Apple Intelligence and Siri. Still see the old logo, as you can see here. There is no, again, Apple Intelligence in this update. So if that's something you were hoping to see, unfortunately, that is still not here. Also, unsurprisingly, there are no surprise extra watch faces since 26 dropped. We still only have Waypoint, Flow, and Exactograph, as well as that new liquid glass photo look, but that's really all there is. One thing, too, I was very surprised about is the lack of even liquid glass in watchOS. You can see it in certain aspects here, but unfortunately, it's, it's pretty limited. It doesn't look that good. It still gives me more of a frosted glass look even though Apple made the change on iOS to have it look more like it did at WWDC. So unfortunately, that's kind of where we're at with that. But the good news is everything does still seem to be working as it should. Obviously, being that it is a weird Wednesday release here, we will be doing our follow-up and review on how the RC is behaving probably on Friday instead of tomorrow to give it a good two days to adjust re-index and see how battery life's doing. So make sure to turn alerts on, subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified when this does drop. But again, yeah, I do still feel the same way if you follow the channel. I feel like watchOS has been neglected. I feel like they gave a quick uh, money grab just with the color update to uh, the Apple Watch Ultra 3 this year. Just a little disappointed here. You guys know I've ended my frustration plenty of times on this channel regarding this, but yeah. There really is very minimal new in these builds. So we'll keep this video short and sweet today. If you are a registered developer, this will be available for you to pick up right now. And if you're not, and you are just waiting for the actual release to drop, you can probably expect this to come as soon as next week. If at the latest it doesn't drop next week, I would say on Monday the 15th. Traditionally, Apple likes to give developers more than just three days on a beta before they release it to the public, but it would not be surprising for them to not, or to still drop this on the 8th, but we'll have to see. Hopefully that helps you guys out. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on watchOS right now. Is it just me? Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.